Steven Spielberg and animatronics. Though they helped make some of the most memorable moments of his films, they are notorious for their unpredictability on his sets. It is a miracle that films like Jaws and Jurassic Park turned out so good and with so few injuries. Bruce the Shark is a wonderful story of chaos and mayhem that deserves its own video, so today, let's focus on the star of 1993's Jurassic Park. When pre-production on this soon-to-be-modern masterpiece started, Spielberg wanted animatronics. Lots of them. Initially, he wanted every dinosaur in the film to be a fully animatronic character, and they might have done it, if they had the money. That limitation would eventually lead to the creation of the first computer-generated flesh-and-blood characters, but most of the creature effects in the film were still to be animatronics. The job of making them a reality was given to Stan Winston's studio. Their previous creations for James Cameron's Aliens provided the groundwork for what was to come. The Xenomorph Queen in that film was mostly powered by hydraulics rather than motorized mechanisms to support the weight and allow it the proper movement, something the team would ultimately utilize again when making Jurassic's dinosaurs. The Rex began as concept pieces and design artwork of different sizes, later being rendered in 3D as a full-size statue. A mold of the statue was cast that would later be used to form a latex skin that would cover the hydraulic skeleton. Finally. The latex was painted, details were added, and it was too heavy. Stage 16 on the Warner Brothers backlot, where the set for the Rex paddock was to be constructed, needed to be specifically reinforced to be able to handle the animatronic's 12,000 pound weight. When it was finally brought through the stage's elephant doors, Rexy was ready for any challenge the scene would call for. Except for rain which was a huge part of the scene. Water and animatronics, not good bedfellows. During filming, the pouring rain would soak into the Rex's latex skin, causing the machine to shake uncontrollably. This was because the team had carefully calculated her weight so that the movement would work properly. Now that the skin was soaked and the weight was off, so were their calculations, and the Rex was malfunctioning. It had to be hand-dried with towels and blow dryers in between takes. While the crew was on lunch breaks, the Rex would sometimes move on its own. I so wish I had footage of that. Luckily, the team was able to get the animatronic to work just long enough to get every shot perfect. Among the many heroes of this incredible feat of special effects filmmaking was Stan Winston. Not only did he accept the most ambitious task in effects cinema history, he believed in and supported his team. He gave them the resources and time they needed to make this project a success. Despite all the trouble, Jurassic Park's Tyrannosaurus Rex made it to the screen and helped change the world of film forever. Thank you for watching today's Jurassic Countdown video. Come back tomorrow for another. Stay tuned.